The family of Daniel Martinez tell me that they identified him as the man who was killed in the bar fight over the weekend. He was with his close friend Alexandro Aguilar, who is now charged with murder. Daniel's family tells me his death was a tragic accident. I've been here uh, for a little over three years. Some people come into your life and find a way to inspire you without even realizing it. For Luis Zuniga, that person worked at the barber station just a few feet away. He was genuine. You know, if, if he saw you needed help or whatever, like, no hesitation, you know? He says anyone who sat in Daniel Martinez's chair also experienced his kindness, and the kids loved him. It wasn't his kids he was cutting up. He's, there's always a fist pump on the, on the way in or the way out. I know a lot of people that come to Exclusive have Daniel in mind when they come here. But now a memorial fills his chair. Daniel was shot and killed in a bar fight Saturday night. He was there with a few friends, including Alexandro Aguilar. Spokane County Court documents say their group got into a fight with another group of men at Ichabod's East Bar. It's not clear what caused the argument, but it escalated into a shooting that also injured two other people. Court documents say investigative analysts identified Daniel's friend Aguilar as the shooter. They say surveillance video from inside the bar shows a person matching his description firing a pistol inside. Deputies on scene say he tried to run from them before they arrested him a few blocks away. Investigators found a Glock 21 45 caliber pistol on a roof near the bar, an empty magazine, and 12 bullet casings of the same caliber. Aguilar is charged with murder, attempted murder, and assault. The judge set his bond at $1 million. Deputies also arrested Anthony Bonds Jr., who faces assault charges. Docs say he was at the bar with his brother and a friend when they got into a fight with Aguilar and his group. Bond told detectives he saw his brother fall to the floor with a gunshot to the stomach. He thought Daniel shot his brother and admitted to kicking him. Unaware, he was already dead. We're going to miss him. That's for sure. Over the weekend, friends and family held a candlelight vigil for Daniel to honor his life. He leaves behind a fiance, three daughters, and a son. This afternoon, Luis cut two of the daughter's hair. It's a Blackfeet tribe tradition to cut your hair while grieving the death of an immediate family member. I'm honored. I'm super honored, you know, to, to be doing this right now. I hope he's watching, like, you know, he's proud. Now, Daniel's family plans to set up a GoFundMe account to help cover the cost of taking him back to his home in Sunnyside. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, which means additional charges could be filed later on. Reporting from the Spokane County Courthouse, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.